Um, I'm not sure I can read the name. Maybe y'all can. But they died in 1903. July 10th in 1903. I'm trying to read the name, but it goes sideways. And it's really hard to tell. Sometimes ones looking at it can tell better than the ones taking it. If I can go back over the video and see, it looks like Mary. Mary E. L. I. Uh, I can't tell what that letter is. It's not an S. It's almost like a two, but that don't make sense. So. They died. They were born 1813. They died 1890. Can, can you tell the name on that? Well. Oh, uh, look at that. E V L something D E V A L C O Divalco Divalco maybe Born in eighteen thirteen died eighteen eighteen. That's an old one right there. I need to write that down. Can you give me a pen and my book out of the car? Please. Now this might be the oldest Sally Robertson Strickland, eighteen fifty six. 1884. We will see. No, the other one's older because it was 1880. Yeah, it was 1880. So I know it's older than this one. For about four years, James Powell Hancock. Let's see if we can tell the dates on here. 19 or 18. Feels like 30. Yeah, I think it's 1830 or 50. 50, there's a 9 there. 39, something like that. Okay, that they died in 18. Almost the oldest one, but not quite. It was one of the, that was because it was 1880 and it was 89s and 90. So that's probably about the third or fourth oldest. Pretty cool. Okay. Still not the oldest graves I've found. So far, 1861 is the oldest grave I have found. Well, here in our area. But hopefully, we'll find some older. I know there's some 1,700 graves somewhere. Apparently, this was our oldest grave, and I think there's a Masonic symbol on that. So they were probably Mason as well. There's a history with that. Um, but as far as I can tell, this is the oldest grave out here. I think that one or that one, whichever one. Yeah, it's this one. I had to think a second. <laughs> 1880. Looks like 90 from here, but when you get up close, you can tell it's 1880. All right, then. Uh, we thank y'all for watching. Hope you will enjoy these. Have a blessed day. Well, we will have to say this is a very nice graveyard, and we've been to a lot of graveyards over the years. We have <laughs> some kind of attraction for graves. I don't know. I think it's the story that you're thinking of. That this is really people, because we live in a time when people want to take their loved ones and bury them within a few short hours or maybe just have a gravesite. And then I'm not saying things wrong with any of these things, don't get me that. But it's just like a person who lives a long life or a short life, it doesn't really matter. Their lives are worth something and I feel like they deserve more than just a quickie, let's do it and get it over, you know. I think they deserve uh, to have a memorial, to have a, a funeral that, um, honors their life and uh, I feel like you're not doing a person justice if you don't uh, understand financial reasons if you do something because of financial reasons I understand that but even if finances are hard you can still have a memorial or something later to honor their life and they deserve that for the life that they live what do you think about this graveyard Larry I think it's well kept I think 
give a A plus to whoever does it, mm -hmm. whether it's the church or the community or somebody. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess if I had to be buried, I'd like to know I'm buried into one that don't let cuts there grow up over. Yeah, and it's like this. It's kept, we, we, very well kept, yes. I saw one the other day that, man, I would not want to be buried there. I would get up and leave. <laughs> I'd like to see that one. That'd be a first. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I know it's just a body, but, um, you know, people are forgotten about. Yeah, they are. Years They're ago, really... we don't, don't know them. We don't appreciate them. But, but they lived a life. Yeah. They had a family. Most people did anyway. I mean, you know, they loved life like we do. They enjoyed life like we do. I mean, it's just, you know, there's a story there. Every marker, there's a story. And I guess that's what, and I guess that's why I like graveyards because I know that every marker that I look at, even if it doesn't have a name, it has a, they had a story. They had a life. They had, I mean, you know, people watch YouTube channels a day where people are not really doing anything and they'll have thousands of views. But you've got to realize if these people's lives could be on YouTube, you'd find them interesting as well. So, you know, we have to remember these people had a life too. They were alive at one time and so they have a story and, and, and interests me. No, don't throw your loved ones who have passed away. I mean, you, you know, yeah, they're gone. They're, they've gone to their final resting place, wherever that is. But, you know, they're, keep their memory alive because, you know, that's really what the cemeteries are about. And, you know, when um, it's okay if you want to cremate your loved ones, but keep their memory alive because their life was worth something. It was valuable. Thank y'all.